going on everybody? I'm just kind of doing a shoot at the hip type of type of video. Just playing out on the deck the last two days off I've had. Getting some leather work done as you just seen. Um, as you see in the beginning of the video. Actually, uh, it's been quite a while since I've done a knife. And I can't remember if I did one last year or it was the year before. I think it was the year before. So it's been a year and a half to two years since I did a knife. I could be wrong. Uh, pretty sure and uh, did another woody because I had some ivory corian that I wanted I've been wanting to use for a while and this is bone this is ivory this is the one you've seen in a lot of my videos um, ivory's got a little bit more yellow tinge to it a little more natural looking material and you never know how it quite it's going to turn out in uh, in video I don't always see things the same way but uh, it's much nicer I like that I'm going to use more of it uh, I did change some things that I wanted to do from the previous version that I had done. Uh, I brought the swell a little bit higher. Not a whole lot, uh, but a little bit. A little more perfect fit to the hand. The ramps have more of a steep to them. Same thickness at the top of the swell, but the ramp is a little bit, it comes a little bit further down in here. It's a little bit steeper, much more comfortable grip. I, even though I haven't done a knife in a while, I feel my work has definitely improved over the last one so definitely brought that in a little bit more um, so I've seen a lot of use and still will uh, you know nothing crazy nothing crazy I still use some red liners like the other one I just felt this had a much nicer look to it more natural material looking and just putting together some patches uh, I know I've had some people ask on YouTube that aren't on the Bushcraft USA forum fortunately guys that's just where I sell them uh, it's easier for me. I have a vendor forum there. So you haven't signed up, sign up, take a look at how I run my sales and things like that. Just, you know, because I know everybody asks. So uh, pretty simple stuff. Uh, I don't know what else I'll shoot today while I'm out here. I'm not sure what I'm going to work on. I thought about starting another pipe. I got another piece of briar. But uh, I really got to be in the mood for it. So I'm not in it right now. Uh, maybe later this afternoon I will. It's really pipe making in me is really funny. I just it's got to hit me, and then I got to get right to it. But right now it hasn't hit me, so I I think what I haven't done yet is I haven't seen how I want the the pipe to come out of this piece yet. And uh, as soon as that does, then I'll get to work on it. But uh, hopefully I'll get out in the next two weeks and I can get a chance to really break this one in. I'm really excited. Uh, you can tell too the blade shape's a little different. It's a much pointier version. And the blade is a constant sweep on this. Uh, unlike this one, it's a straight plane and then a curve at the end. This has got a nice sweep to the whole thing. So a little different. Uh, of course, this is an Adventure Sworn blade. Again, uh, my handle job, obviously. But, uh, pretty cool. You know, um, still got a few, uh, a couple, couple few months left to work out in the shop unless my wife and I can get a friggin' house. Uh, it's been a nightmare. But if we can find something, hopefully I can get a shop and things will be more interesting on my channel. Um, more in depth, you know, how, you know, me doing maker stuff, uh, you know, because I like to make, you know, I, it's just something I'm very passionate, I've become passionate about in the last several years. started. I trimmed it up with the table saw there. Dropped a hole in it. I'm going to go a little deeper though. Totally doing this the wrong way. I should be clamping this in, but oh well. Side of the cheaper extra large blocks that you buy is they have imperfections in them. Apparently, these cause problems, you know. You know so, top shelf pipe makers aren't going to use something that has a, maybe a slight imperfection in the inside of the wood there, but it looks really small. And it's obviously not traveling, 
so it is what it is. Of course, I'll sand the inside. That may even just disappear, but nothing's gonna, gonna make me fuss over. I'm not selling $500 pipes, so. But we'll continue on. I see my briar, man, I'll tell you. You just hold it to the sander and it starts to disappear, so it works fast, you know, so you really have to be careful. Um, but we'll see what we can do.